Parliamentary elections are likely to be held at the end of November or beginning of December. According to a government source, President Kolinda Grabekitarovic will put forward three dates for the poll, November the 29th, December the 6th and December the 13th. Last night, a new wave of refugees crossed the border from Serbia into Hungary. Hungarian authorities are stepping up control of the country's southern border and have increased helicopter observation and patrols with police dogs. The government is reportedly considering the deployment of armed forces. According to new statistics, some 100,000 migrants have applied for asylum in Hungary in the first seven months of this year. Europe's refugee crisis is at the top of the agenda today at the Vienna Summit of Western Balkan leaders, attended by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The issue has overshadowed the high-level conference that originally aimed to focus on economic prospects and European perspectives for the Western Balkan states. Croatia's Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic and Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic are attending the meeting. Serbia's Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic appealed to the EU for a joint stand on how to deal with the refugees that have gathered in his country in their bid to move on to EU states. We need to act jointly with EU countries because it's not a problem. We do register them, but they don't want to stay in our country. And it's not something that we are jubilant about. We would like to be uh, richer and to offer something to them. Yes, we do offer, but they want to go to some other countries. But if someone from European Union would say, well, take some obligations as Serbia, we'll do it. But nobody says nothing. A friendly football match was held last night on the eve of today's summit, pitting the Western Balkan states against the European Union. The Western Balkans won the match, defeating the EU with a score of 42. The goals for the winning side were scored by Macedonian Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski and Kosovo European Integration Minister Bekin Čolaku. Just after the summer festival in Dubrovnik came to a close on Tuesday, a new cultural event has moved into the spotlight, the Dubrovnik in late summer International Music Festival. The series of concerts opened last night at the Franciscan Church with a performance by the Pro Musica Students Choir from Mostar. This festival is a coming together of many different musicians from different countries. Most of them are friends uh, and we're here to create something very special. The festival continues until September the 22nd. In sports, at the World Athletics Championships in Beijing, Croatian high jumpers Blanka Vlasic and Anna Šimić this morning both qualified for the finals, easily clearing 194 centimetres. Meanwhile, Andrea Ivanšević qualified for the 100 metres hurdle semi-final, coming in third in her group. Yesterday in basketball, Croatia beat Estonia 66-63 in Zagreb in a warm-up tournament for the Eurobasket Championship that begins next week. Croatia next plays Bosnia-Herzegovina this evening at 6pm. And this evening split stages the return match in playoffs for the Europa League between local club Hajduk and the Czech Republic's Slovan Liberec. Last night, fans drove through the city in a loud show of support in what is seen to be Hajduk's game of the season. Kickoff is at 8 p.m. The weather this afternoon, mainly sunny with some lingering fog and clouds in low-lying regions. A slight chance of rain showers in Lika and Inner Dalmatia. Winds on the Adriatic, a moderate southwesterly and westerly wind, a northwesterly on the open sea. Temperatures between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius in northern parts of the country, on the coast and in Inner Istria and Dalmatia up to 31 degrees. Temperatures are on the rise, with hot conditions expected in the next few days in the interior, reaching up to 35 degrees in Inner Dalmatia. Mainly sunny skies with lingering fog and low cloud in some areas. Mainly sunny on the Adriatic. Maestral and Bura winds are likely to cause a choppy sea. Air and water temperatures the same as today or higher, and warm nighttime temperatures in Dalmatia.